Hey guys, it's Chris with Sustainer Systems and today I would like to discuss a brief history of the Sustainer. The Sustainer was first developed in the early 90s around 1993 and this box that you see here at the time was really for Festool and this box we called a classic Sustainer. This was around for many, many years and if you don't know, the way it worked is you had two latches in the front, you had two latches on the side. You just had to do the front latches to open it but if you wanted to connect boxes together, you had to raise these latches up, raise these latches up and lock them together. Over the years, we got a lot of feedback from the market and definitely had ideas about how we could improve this. So we came out with what we call the T-Lock generation, which was really a big change from the classic. The biggest change being this thing we call the T-Lock patented system. And the beauty of this is it's one-handed. So you can walk up to the box, you have a tool in one hand, open it up, place your tool inside, take it out. One weakness was that if this was sitting on an uneven surface and you went to close the lid, sometimes the lid would not want to close. The second was the mobility aspect. So how do we get this in a van, in a trailer? Where do you store it? How do you store it? And so there was a lot of ideas that came to the table in the third generation, which has now been on the market for four or five years. And we call this SysGen 3. A couple of differences with SysGen 3. First and foremost, the handle is in the opposite direction. We'll talk about that here in a second. T-lock still looks the same. The biggest difference is this groove that you see here in the side. So this groove, which allows you to take the sustainer and dock it in a number of different ways using the integral slides, was a big change. And there were some smaller changes too. So inside this box, for example, we reinforced the bottom heavily. It's a lot thicker, a lot stronger. One thing you might not have noticed is there's now a small ramp right here in the corner so that as soon as that ramp catches on the edge, even on an uneven surface, the new generation will always close and fall into place. One of the differences between the second and third generation is that in the second generation and in the, and the first generation, the handle was in this orientation. And with the new docking feature with the integrated slide, we had to switch the handle to the opposite position so that when you're pushing it in, the handle would not get caught in the backwards position. And you might be wondering, what if I have the old, old generation? Did you guys keep them compatible? We have kept them compatible now for more than 30 years. And also take the third generation, lock it in place, and so we have maintained compatibility within the system for more than 30 years, more than 40 million sustainers sold. That's a brief history of the sustainer. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.